Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, anytime I hear that beat, uh, it just brings me back to them days I was out there in the streets dancing. Yes, yes, yes. Number one Chief Rocket Jersey Vern here on a Monday recap show. We have February the 19th, 2018. Uh, it's supposed to be, they call it a holiday. Was it President's Day? But shit, we got a president in the house right now that nobody really gives a fuck about. Nobody respects him. So how the hell he got a day to day? Unless this is for all other presidents and they just forgetting about his orange ass. But anyway, thank everybody for coming in today. Uh, this is the Two Live Stools radio platform. Our fearless leader, Doug Stewart, will be on the night from 7 to 10. He's out doing a 9 to 5 now. You know what I'm saying? He like Dolly Parton getting that 9 to 5. Yeah, but anyway, um, the number one Chief Rocket Jersey Vern is holding it down today. I'll be on tomorrow from 12 to 2. We kind of rotate this thing. Um, I seen that the Wait a Minute show was on before me. I thought he was coming on after me, so it was a little confusement on the start of the show. But it's all good because, you know, technology is the best thing out here today. And as long as you know how to work it, you never have no problems. So we are on schedule time and doing what we do best. Uh, this is a call-in show. You see the title of the show today is The second half of the NBA season is about to come about to us. And after what I seen yesterday, man, uh, it should be pretty interesting um, as far as players. There was a lot more passion yesterday than it was in any other All-Star game. The score is a little lower than it normally is for an All-Star game. You know, these jokers be trying to get 200 motherfucking points because ain't nobody playing defense. But they played a little defense yesterday. It shows who had the better All-Star coach. Um, LeBron James had the better All-Star coach. Um, the Steph Curry team, their coach wasn't adapt to either being in the game. I think he was. He seen too many lights out there yesterday. Too many bright lights for him. So he just sitting back, letting everybody do what they need to do. And when it came down to the end, it needed a little coaching. He needed a strategy to try to get the ball from being trapped. And um, big up to LeBron James' team for playing some great defense at the end. And they came back and won the game, man. LeBron got his third MVP trophy of the All-Star game. And uh, shit, LeBron said... Uh, <laughs> LeBron got, hey, everybody talking about L.A. and um, Houston, right? Let me run down these jerseys that they had on LeBron James, man. And, you know, it's kind of funny that they would be talking about this deep now than they did before the All-Star game. Because before the All-Star game, it was about the demolition that the Cleveland Cavaliers went through. All these new players. Could these players gel in time enough? To give LeBron another run to the championship, is some doubt there. So now, they're putting him in other jerseys. Let me name the jerseys they put him in. Okay, first and foremost, they still got him wearing Cleveland jersey. It's still a chance he may be there. Then you go to Golden State. Then you switch over. You may have a Houston Rocket jersey. All these jerseys are number six, except for his Cleveland jersey. Then they got him going to a... Clipper jersey where he will wear number 23. Then they got him going to a Laker jersey where he'd be wearing number 23. And then they have him going back to the Heat where he got his old number 6 jersey. Right? Then they got him going to Philadelphia 76ers where he'll wear a number 23 jersey. Then they got him going to the Spurs where he'll wear a number 23 jersey. Okay. My thing is, fuck it. Why don't you just have him go in every goddamn team in the league then? <laughs> Since everybody trying to guess and decide on where LeBron James will be after the season's over with, we ain't even <clears throat> close to the playoffs or none of that. But they all picking the teams that he may go to. And, you know, oh, uh, well, uh, I'm LeBron James. Uh, I'm taking my talent to um, the China national team. <laughs> Wouldn't that be some shit? <laughs> LeBron James over in China making buku dollars. You know what I'm saying? He's tripling the money he can make in the U.S. Yeah, okay. But anyway, man, uh, <laughs> it was a good game yesterday, um, last night. I'm saying yesterday, but shit, last night. Um, shit, uh, I went to sleep on the, the last part of the damn game, man, because 
Shit, it was, what, almost 12 o'clock when the damn game went off. So, um, you know, big ups to the NBA. They finally did it right. You know, I know everybody waiting for the chief to talk about this one incident that happened yesterday. And uh, like I said, thanks to everybody that's in here. Um, as I see you, I'll call you out. I'm not going to go from the bottom and start up to the top. I see you. we got DJ Queen, Squad affiliate DJ in the house. What's up, mommy? Also see DJ Nuno, X squad affiliate out of Las Vegas in the house. And we got Clay Thompson. Oh, damn, I call him Thompson, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's on my mind because of what happened yesterday. But we got Clay Davis up in the house. What's up, Clay? That, that <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, we also got Matt Farrell up in the house. What's up, Mackie? Also, Mocha Bella Esquad affiliate up in the house. I seen Miss Tori Lee up in here too. Wow, Tori Lee, that, she blessed my chat room today. Thank you for coming in, mommy. I see Sid Galloway up in here. We got the wait a minute, Jelani up in here, who did a show earlier. I didn't even get a, a alert for his show earlier. Um, that's probably because I had a lot of when I was at work. I was getting a lot of business calls and. You know, we got Ray the Kev up in the house. What's up, my brother? Thank you for coming in. Deacon, Deacon Dell is in here. We got Charles Bankhead, Clarence Bankhead up in the house. What's up, Clarence? Uh, shit, yeah. But anyway, man, um, <clears throat> the game, uh, you couldn't do it no better than what they did, man, as far as the uh, entertainment before the game. You know, you got Kevin Hart, uh, Common, Queen Latifah, I don't know who the other singer was, the young lady, uh, she did a good job, um, you had the little white gem, um, Gentile Devon or something like that, Devon or whatever his name is, I'm fucking his name up, you know, I didn't write the shit down, uh, and um, uh, you had the guy from um, NFL Fox Football, uh, I can't think of his name either. You know, I you know I, I always name my people first. We got the angry black man, Rakeem the God, MC got got who? Let me see. What did he say? Got this. Oh, oh. He must be talking about and um Rakim got this and um uh, the microwave uh <clears throat> his um hip hop bracket last week. But, uh, it was a pretty interesting bracket last week, man. Um, shit, Mike did about four and a half hours on the on the radio. I know he was tired as hell. Uh, so um, yeah, man. Let me let me read this. Let me read this message I got right here. Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that'll wait. You know, motherfuckers trying to have me do some shit outside of the job today, but I'm not even taking heed to it. I see we got my main man, Ron Wells, up in the house, straight out of New York. What's up, Ronnie Wells? Stand down in the ATF, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, it was, a, it was a great game yesterday. Uh, let me see. I had a couple little stats here I wanted to throw out here for anybody that likes stats, right? Uh, even though LeBron James got the MVP, he scored 29 points. Could have had more than that. Um, that LeBron James team had a lot of turnovers. That's why I'm surprised they won the game. You know, I guess when you play defense, you know, these all-stars that just come together to play that one game, they not adapt to nobody playing no D on. They figure uh, everybody, everything going to be a turn style. You can go straight to the hole. But yesterday was a whole different game. Everybody was out there playing defense. And LeBron James was on a mission yesterday. I think LeBron James uh, is trying to shut up a lot of people, uh, especially people out in the media and the news. You know, we had a young lady told LeBron James to shut up and just dribble the ball. I mean, who gives her the goddamn balls? That's right. Who gives her the balls to tell this man who got ball to not dribble, to just go out there and dribble the ball and leave politics alone? You know, that's where the problem comes today in society. Uh, people are always trying to tell you what to do and what not to do. I mean, we got a freedom of uh, speech, rights, and everything out here to do or say what we want to say. If you don't like it, well, you go sit your motherfucking ass down, what you do anyway on your job. You know, uh, she got a little hostile with LeBron, you know. 
him and KD, you know, having a little conversation in the van, and uh, LeBron decided to call the, the, the female up and let her know about how he feel. And I'm kind of glad he did that because that's Fox 5. And Fox 5, you know, I had somebody tell me that Fox 5 is not racist. I told him, well, goddamn, what Fox 5 you looking at? Is you looking at the one on TV or you listen to it on the radio? Because they are very racist, and you can tell by that when our ex-president of two terms, eight years, Barack Obama was uh, running for presidency, how they uh, slandered his um, election campaign and everything, man. You know, just how they put his name out there, period. You know, you know. so for uh, people to say that they not racist, they are the biggest racist outfit out here. You know, I see Miss J2. I love my team is in the house. We got Tiffany um, from Portland up in here. What's going on, Mommy? Uh, your boy did his thing yesterday. Uh, he represent Portland Big. Uh, let me see. Um, I was going to get to uh, Lurit. He had 21 points yesterday. Big ups to him, you know. We got Big L. That squad of Philly straight out of Arkansas. Sweet. Sweet. What's up, Big L? X squad of Philly in the house. We got Tiffany Sports and Hills. You know, lovely lady from X squad of Philly up in the house. But yeah, man, uh, let me go back down these scores. Um, you had um, <coughs> Anthony Davis out of New Orleans had 12. Durant had 19. Uh, Russell Westbrook had 11. Kyrie Irving, 13. Now, how the hell you play an all-star game and you big as hell and don't score no point? My main man out of, out of San Antonio, Aldridge, didn't have that goddamn point. I do, man, you down there seven foot, you ain't had no point. You could have got a tip back in. But he got, to me, he got one of them lazy games, man. You know, he wasn't getting the ball where he'd get the ball with San Antonio. And he ain't going down low to battle too tough. So that's probably why he ain't scoring no points. You can't say he ain't had no time because he had, he had some good minutes yesterday. You had Paul George. Out of OKC had 16. Drummond out of Detroit had 14. Kimball Walker had 11. Uh, Dragnik out of, uh, that's the name, Drag, Dragon out of uh, Miami had 2. Uh, Opal Depot had 7. And Bradley Bill had 14. That was LeBron James' team. It was a pretty balanced scoring uh, for that team. And um, they spread the ball around good. But uh, if you look at 148 points, you got to score a point. And this guy ain't had nine goddamn point. I couldn't believe this. And over there on the Steph Curry side of the scoreboard, we had uh, Guinness. I can't even say his motherfucking last name. So he's out of Milwaukee. The Greek freak had 16 points. Embry had 19. Curry 11. Harden had 12. DeRozan, DeRozan had 21. Uh, he was the high score. No, tied with Damon Lillard for the high score over there. Uh, Al Harford had six. Uh, Draymond Green had three. Draymond looked like uh, he, was, he wasn't even at the game half the time. He was hustling. He always going to hustle. But it looked like he wasn't into it like he normally be into a game. Uh, I guess he just said, fuck it, I'm going to go through the motion. Uh, Towns had 17. Lowry, four. Like I said, Lillard had 21. Uh... Thompson, Clay Thompson had 15. I thought Clay Thompson was trying to get the MVP because he got hot one time and he was like fire, you know. And uh, Jimmy Butler did not play. They didn't say if Jimmy Butler had an injury, or at least I didn't hear it, but they said, I guess he said he wasn't feeling good and whatnot. I see Clay put the man name in there. I don't give a fuck how many times you put his name in, Clay. Uh, <laughs>